Hello students, let us start today this complex compounds or coordination compounds. Complex compounds or coordination compounds. Before going to start about this particular lesson, let us have a good idea about what are these particular simple salt, double salt and complex compound. Simple salt, double salt and complex compound. Let me take first uh, what is a simple salt what is a simple salt. Next uh, double salt, double salt, simple salt, double salt, let me take again complex uh, compound, complex compound, simple salt, double salt and complex compound. The salt which is actually, the salt which is carrying a distinguished cation and distinguished anion is said to be a salt said to be a salt. A salt which is carrying a distinguished cation and distinguished anion is said to be a salt. What is simple one? It is carrying only one type of cation and one type of anion that is very simple. Therefore, it can be also called as what a simple salt. Coming to this particular double salt, generally by the combination of two or more than two simple salts, you are getting a double salt. Combination of two or more than two simple salts you are getting a double salt. But we cannot say in this way this particular definition of a double salt. The definition of a double salt we can define in a different way. What is this particular double salt? The salt which undergoes complete ionization in aqueous solution produces all of its component ions, all of its component ions. Let me show one or two examples. Let us consider the first example carnalite. Consider this particular cornelite, it is nothing but what KCl, Mg, Cl2, 6H2O. Cornelite, KCl, Mg, Cl2, 6H2O. Once you are putting into water, once you are putting into aqueous solvent like water, it is completely ionizing to produce K plus, Mg plus 2 and 3 Cl minus ions. 3 Cl minus ion. What I said? The salt which undergoes, the salt which undergoes complete ionization to produce all of the component ions, all of the component ions and the component ions, the component ions are exhibiting their specific chemical test. Okay. K plus ion is independent, it is exhibiting its independent properties, Mg plus is actually independent, exhibiting its independent properties and Cl minus ions also similarly. So, the salt which undergoes complete ionization aqueous solution producing all of its component ions, all the component ions exhibiting their specific properties, their independent properties such as salt what we call this particular double salt. Let me give another example which is a suitable and good example let me take. Potassium you take well known to you potassium. Potassium you take then this is what nothing but uh, you know well K2 SO4, Al2, SO4 taken thrice and 24H2O it is the what uh, potassium. This particular potassium again you are putting into water, it is undergoing complete ionization. What way it is undergoing ionization? Check it. 2 K plus and you are getting what? 2 Al plus 3, how many sulfate ions? 4 SO4 minus 2 ions you are getting. Like this, K plus ions, Al plus 2 ions and sulfate ions you are getting. This is also undergoing complete ionization in aqueous solution producing all the component ions and all these component ions exhibiting their independent or specific uh, chemical properties because they are free in the solution. So, the salt which undergoes complete ionization produce all the component ions and all the component ions exhibiting their, their independent uh, properties such salt what we call double salt. Let us come to next uh, complex compound. Next uh, complex compound. Now, you consider what is complex compound, the salt of the compound which undergoes partial ionization that is what complex ion does not ionize such what we call complex compound. Let me give you a simple example, let us consider potassium ferrocyanide, let me take uh, Fe, Cn taken 6. This you are putting into water, putting into water then what you are getting see, it is undergoing partial ionization I said 4K plus and uh, FeCN, FeCN taken 6, FeCN taken 6 uh, minus 4. Look at here, 
the salt or the compound which undergoing partial ionization. It is only undergoing the K plus ions are ionized and the bracket part that is what you call complex, complex ion. It is undergoing partial ionization. The complex part is whatever the weight in the solid state, similar way in the aqueous solution. The complex part is the bracket part is not uh, ionized. Therefore, undergoing partial ionization and the complex ion, the complex ion is not uh, ionizing. The complex ion is actually exhibiting its uh, independent property as such. It is actually showing specific properties of complex ion, but is not exhibiting any property of Fe plus 2 or Cn minus ion. So, the compound or the salt which are undergoing partial ionization that the complex ion does not ionize is known as what a complex compound. Undergoing complete ionization, undergoing partial ionization means uh, the complex ion does not ionize, we call it as what a complex compound. A simple salt, a double salt and a complex compound. This is the what uh, the three definitions of simple salt, double salt and a complex compound. Next, let us see what are the parts of a complex compound. Let me show. See, parts of the complex compound, different parts are there in the particular complex compound. Look at here K4, FeCN taken 6, FeCN taken 6, you consider a simple complex. This particular part, what we call ionization sphere, this is ionization, ionization sphere, we can call ionization sphere and this particular part what we can call coordination sphere, coordination sphere, this is coordination sphere, ionization sphere and this is what coordination sphere, this particular we can call it what a central metal ion, central metal ion, central metal ion, this particular we can call coordination number coordination number, this we can call it as what a ligand, this we can call it as what a ligand. See, these are the parts of a complex compound, ionization sphere, coordination sphere and this is what a central metal ion and this is what the coordination number, this is what the ligand, these are actually parts of this particular complex compound. Next, let us see what are the terms used in complex compound, the important term we use in complex compound is ligand. Ligands are very important. I will give few ligands, uh, but uh, each ligand, its uh, name, its structure, its density, its charge and how this particular ligand is abbreviated in a complex, abbreviated in a complex. All the information about this particular ligand is very important. Whatever the ligands I am giving, uh, giving now, we should remember all these. Name of the ligand, structure of the ligand and uh, charge of the ligand, density of the ligand and how this particular ligand is represented or shown in a particular complex. These are all the information about ligand is important. Few ligands let us discuss monodentate, bidentate, tridentate, tetradentate and pentadentate, hexadentate like this ligands discussion. Now, I show the discussion of ligands. Terms used in complex compound, terms used in complex compound, terms used in complex compound, the first important term what I said is ligand, ligand. A molecule or ion which is capable of donating a pair of electron, molecule or ion which is capable of donating a pair of electron, we call it as what the ligand. Now, we consider this particular NS3 is carrying a pair of electron, it can easily donate a pair of electron to this particular. Then molecular ion which is capable of donating a pair of electron, we call it the what ligand. Next, a ligand molecule may carry one donor atom or more than one donor atoms. Now, we consider it is actually amine ligand, it is carrying only one donor atom, this is only what monodentate. There may be ligands with uh, more than one donor atom, that means the bidentate, tridentate. Let us see now ethylene diamine, let me write uh, ethylene diamine, ethylene diamine it is actually donating actually two donor atoms it is carrying, it is carrying what two donor atoms En or ethylene diamine we call it as ethylene diamine. 
Next we take diene, diethylene, triamine, diethylene, diene, diethylene, triamine. It is carrying what uh, three donor atoms. Three donor atoms. Like this, based on the number of donor atoms, first donor, second donor, third donor. Like this, it is considered what uh, a tridentate, monodentate, and uh, bidentate. It is carrying three donors, tridentate. Tridentate. Let me give one more example. Oxalato ligand also I will give oxalato ligand C2O4 minus 2. The structure of this particular ligand is what uh, C single bond O and actually charges and uh, followed by this is the structure of oxalato ligand. This particular oxalato ligand it is considered it may be any metal on like platinum let us con consider for example it is linked through two donor atom carrying one donor monodentate carrying two donors bidentate carrying three donors it is what a tridentate it is also carrying two donors we can call it what a bidentate like this based on the number of donor atoms based on the number of donor atom the ligands are classified into mono bi tri tetra penta and hexadentate ligands hexadentate ligand this is amine ligand ammonia we call it what a amine this is what amine ligand this is what a uh, ethylene diamine en we say it is diene diene means what a uh, diethylene triamine this is what oxalato ligand oxalato ligand now you are clearly looking on the board this particular first three ligands look at here amine ligand ethylene diamine and diene these particular three ligands are actually neutral ligand these are neutral ligands but to consider this particular oxalate ligand, clearly observing it is what uh, carrying two negative charges, it is what uh, negative ligand. So, some of the ligands are neutral, some of the ligands are actually negative, and some are found to be positive. Based on this particular charge and density, based on charge and density, ligands are actually classified into different types. Now, in a tabular form, I will show what are the different types of ligands. What I am saying, ligands are actually important, each ligand its structure, density, charge and how this particular ligand is shown in a complex, how it is abbreviated in the complex that is important. I will give in the tabular form some of the ligands which are important. Classification of ligands based on charge and density. Classification of ligands based on based on charge and uh, density. Classification of ligands based on charge and uh, density. Let me make a table. Let me make a table. We classify different types of ligands based on this particular table. First one, let me see nature of the ligand. Nature of the ligand. Nature of the ligand. Second one, structure of the ligand, structure of the ligand, nature of the ligand, structure of the ligand and uh, abbreviation of the ligand, abbreviation, how it is abbreviated, abbreviation of the ligand, abbreviation of the ligand. It is what nature of the ligand and structure of the ligand abbreviation used in the complex. Now, let us consider first one, next first one, monodentate negative, monodentate negative, monodentate negative ligand. First type, let us take monodentate negative ligands. It is very simple. Let me say it is actually fluoro, chloro, bromo. Let us me write uh, first one, fluoro, chloro, Bromo iodo. Fluoro chloro bromo iodo, nature of the ligand, monodentate negative, fluoro chloro bromo, let us iodo. This particular structure which is simply we represent by F minus and uh, C L minus and it is B R minus and I minus. So nature of the ligand, monodentate negative, fluoro chloro bromo iodo. This is these are actually represented by F minus C L minus B R minus I minus. Simply their abbreviation is also simple fluoro, chloro, bromo, iodo. This is what a abbreviation of this particular fluoro, chloro, bromo, iodo. 
Next, let us consider sin o. Sin o, you can say it is what simply C n minus C n minus it is what C n. Iso sin o, iso sin o, iso sin o, it is actually what n c minus it is what n c. n c minus n c iso sin o. Next, sin a to, sin a to, we can consider simply O c n. O c n minus is what sin a to, it is what O c n. Iso sin a to, iso sin a to, iso sin a to, O n c, O n c minus, these are O n c minus. Like this, fluoro chloro bromide sin o, iso sin o, and again sin a to, iso sin a to, these are some of the monodentate negative ligands. Some more are there, let me continue this particular, some of the still some more monodentate ligands, negative monodentate. Next you can take thiocyanato, 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 it is what SCN minus and we can represent simply SCN. Iso thiocyanato, iso thiocyanato, we can write as what NCS minus, it is what NCS, NCS minus. Like this, these are actually monodentate and uh, negative ligands. In the same monodentate, neutral ligands are there. Let me show some of the monodentate neutral ligands. Now, monodentate neutral, monodentate neutral, under monodentate neutral, let us take amine. Amine, simply it is what uh, NS3 and uh, it is also shown as NS3 in the complex. Second one, aqua ligand, aqua, aqua is nothing but what uh, H2O, then it is actually simply shown by what uh, H2O. Amine, NS3, aqua, H2O. Next, let me write carbonyl, carbonyl ligand, it is actually CO, represented as what uh, simply CO, carbonyl. Carbonyl and uh, triphenyl phosphine, triphenyl phosphine, triphenyl phosphine, we can say it is what uh, PPH3, PPH3, it is what uh, triphenyl phosphine, it is represented what uh, simply PPH3, triphenyl phosphine. And you can take a uh, pyridine, pyridine, it is simply, you can write as what uh, pyridine, you know well, it is simply pyridine and you can represent this is actually either PY or you can say C5, H5N, either way you can represent these are amine, aqua, carbonyl, triphenyl, phosphine and again pyridine, these are some of the neutral monodentate ligand. And again monodentate positive ligands also there, let me show monodentate positive ligands. Consider it is what uh, nitronium, nitronium it is what simply NO2 plus, NO2 plus it is actually NO2 and uh, nitrosyl or nitrosodium, nitrosyl we can say or we can also call it what uh, nitrosonium, nitrosyl or nitrosonium, nitrosyl or nitrosonium NO plus it is what uh, represented by NO. The next one, hydrazinium, hydrazinium, this is what, uh, hydrazinium, it is NH2, NS3 plus, NH2, NS3 plus, it is represented as what, uh, NH2, NH3. So, these are what, uh, the monodentate positive ligand. Some are monodentate negative I given and few I given monodentate neutral, these are what, monodentate positive. Next, let us see bidentate ligands. Next, uh, after monodentate, let us consider some of the bidentate ligands. Bidentate negative ligands, bidentate, bidentate negative ligands, bidentate negative. Bidentate under negative ligands, you consider the first one carbonato, let us say, carbonato ligand. It is simply what, uh, see, this is the structure we are writing carbonate ligand, it is represented as what uh, simply CO3. The charge over the each ligand is important. Let me write uh, this particular formula with a charge here, carbonate 
CO3 minus 2. We we'll also take the next one, sulfato ligand, sulfato, you can write as what? SO4 minus 2, this particular ligand is actually bidentate and uh, negative ligand, sulfato ligand, sulfato ligand. Next we we'll take oxalato ligand, oxalato, oxalato ligand, it is what? C2O4 minus 2, the structure, it is what? Uh, like this structure of this particular ligand, oxalato ligand, this is C2O4 oxalato ligand. So, it is what carbonato, sulfato, oxalato, many are there in this, I will show few more this bidentate negative ligands. But some more ligands, let me write negative ligands, negative bidentate, glycinato. Glycinato, GLY, glycinate, glycinato, GLY minus, single minus it carrying. What is the structure of this particular glycinato? It is what? NH2, C double bond O, O minus glycinato ligand. It is abbreviated as what? Uh, GLY, glycinato. Next, uh, dimethyl glyoximato. Dimethyl glyoximato, let me say it is DMG minus, DMG minus dimethyl glyoximato. The structure of this particular dimethyl glyoximato, this is the structure of the ligand. Structure of the ligand, these are what uh, donor atoms in particular, this dimethyl glyoximato. It is dependent what uh, DMG. Dimethyl oximeto dependent by what uh, DMG. Next, 8-hydroxyquinolinone, uh, 8-hydroxyquinolinone, 8-hydroxyquinolinone, 8 8-hydroxyquinolinone, 8 this is commonly repented as what oxygen single minus. Each ligand, the charge of the ligand is important. DMG is carrying single negative charge and oxygen is carrying single negative charge. The structure of uh, this particular oxygen. Oxygen, it is simply repented as what uh, oxygen. So, like this, dimethyl glyoximato and 8 hydroxyquinolino repented as what uh, oxygen. Next one, acetyl acetonato, acetyl acetonato, acetyl acetonato, see this is what uh, ACAC minus, ACAC minus, the structure of this particular ligand is important to remember, C single bond O, double bond CH, C double bond O, CH3, this is what uh, ACAC. Like this, some of the important uh, negative bidentate ligands, negative bidentate ligands. Let me introduce again bidentate neutral ligands. Bidentate neutral ligands. Bidentate neutral. The best example under this word ethylene diamine, well known to you, the famous ligand ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine, the structure of this particular ligand is this is ethylene diamine. It is simply represented as EN, EN stands for ethylene diamine. Next, uh, propylene diamine, propylene diamine, propylene diamine. It is also known as 1, 2 diaminopropane, see it, uh, both are one and same, 1, 2 diaminopropane. 1 to diamonopropane, 1 to diamonopropane, it is propane, but 1 to position carrying what uh, amine groups, it is 1 to diaminopropane, it is repeated as what uh, PN. Ethylene diamine and again propylene diamine, next one, next one, trimethylene diamine, trimethylene diamine, trimethylene diamine. Trimethylene diamine is also known as, is also considered what 
This is 110 of phenontrolin, orthophenontrolin. It is generally printed as what? Uh, Ofen, orthophen, orthophenontrolin, printed as what? Ofen. These are some of the bidentate, bidentate, neutral ligand. 